So the information I'm going to share with you today is probably worth listening uh, with the background noise that you may be hearing. Somebody is putting a road in front of our house. Anyway, I started this morning around 1 a.m. taking pictures of Comet 3i Atlas. So now it is giving us more like a nighttime viewing almost until the morning time. So it's giving us a lot of duration for us to take pictures. As I start looking at the data more and more, I feel that I wanted to put this out there. I wanted to keep myself thinking or stop thinking that this is a comet. I also wanted to stop thinking that this is a spaceship. I don't want to sit on either one of these extremes because once you see through that lens, everything that you are seeing looks like it, right? I'll give you an example. Today, when I was looking at the pictures, I'm going to show you that as well. It, we know it is spinning and I must have shown you the pictures of this Comet 3 Atlas spinning a lot. But as I get closer and also Comet is coming closer to us, what I'm realizing now is it's not just spinning, it has blades to it. Now I'm saying, now in my mind, I started thinking like a spaceship, so I may be hallucinating. So I wanted to show you the data. It may have maybe two blades or maybe three, and it may be spinning. It looks to me more like a spinning wheel than anything else. Now, this may be my eyes and my brain started thinking, yeah, this is a spaceship, right? Which is something that now I'm biased from the comet to the spaceship side. So I wanted you to look at the data, figure it out yourself, what you think it is. Once you see it, you can't unsee it. That's the problem with these objects. The way I was thinking, if I keep myself completely away from going on either a comet extreme or the spaceship extreme, this could very well be a piece of a planet. Definitely it's not a piece of moon because this has some mantle glow to it, right? So this could be a, a small piece of planet still have the core mantle inside. Maybe that's the reason why, even though it is passing through the cosmic rays and running through billions of years, it is still releasing gases. If it is just a ball of ice, it would have been evaporated and just be a small rock. If it is still releasing gases and if it is still active for so many years like this, for billions of years and running through the interstellar space, it probably is having some kind of a planet core which is like a mantle in it. That's the prediction I have or a guess that I have. I don't want to look at as that either, but I just wanted to share, we may need to be open to not a comet, not a spaceship hypothesis, which is going to let us open the doors of thinking without putting a bias into the data, right? So that you can carefully look at what it could be, right? I'm going to share the pictures with you and show you all the data I have. It's fantastic, it's fascinating. You will definitely love it. But please do subscribe to my channel, click on the notifications button. It does help and thank you for all the members that came in I'm not doing a whole lot of justice to the members, but pretty soon, once the dust settles and we have a little bit more time, there is so much data we are collecting on various things, not just the comets. I was taking pictures of, and also the videos of the sun during the day, once in a while. I have several things to talk related to astronomy. I'll start sharing all the data and videos with you. So I started 103 in the morning, 103 in the morning and I went all the way up to 440. After 440 the clouds came in and 
it messed up the data but i think between that 103 and 440 i think i got the best data possible let me pull up the data and i will show you what i was saying so this these are the ones that i collected the data i star aligned them so that way at least you can have a very quick time lapse on this video so this is the data we got right this is coming from all the time that we had spent and let me zoom in for you so this is what most people do i mean they look at this and they say yep it's a comet and that's it it is looking like a comet what i did today when i was recording it I reduce the exposure time so that I can see this ball, whatever this is, right? The the one in the middle. I don't want to overexpose it. I want to really see the core kind of. So I just kept it as less bright as possible. I don't want to see too much brightness. Help does quite a bit today to pull a lot of details from it. So this is where I started and then I went ahead and yeah I did a comet alignment I talked about this before so basically when you see the comet it is flying across the field of stars so when I do this comet alignment process it is going to keep the comet in one place and the stars are going to move right that's what i did over there the idea was if the comet doesn't move you could actually zoom in to the area and go closer to the comet and take a look at what it is and that actually helped me quite a bit today so this is the data we got after the comet alignment and you can clearly see the comet here and now I don't need to worry about moving this because if I zoom in and out that thing is staying in one place and that's exactly what we wanted to see what is it right it's beautiful do you see that I don't know if you can see it Okay, I'll try to zoom in further. Do you see that the it's like a shaped potato, potato shaped item is kind of running, like moving around, like it's doing that, right? So at least at, at this time, what you are seeing is something that is shaped like a elongated uh, potato is the best way to explain that. It's like this and it is tumbling like this, rotating. You see that? As the day goes by, it's getting brighter. So as it comes down in the time, right? You will see this more and more definition. In the morning time, that thing is still uh, below the skyline where all the light pollution is. And you can clearly see that it's tumbling, right? And it is doing that spin, kind of. So I wasn't satisfied with this. I said, there is something going on there. Let's get to the bottom of it. So I reduced the size of the picture by cropping the area where the comet is. So this is the so this is the data that I received and um, I cropped the data. I wanted to show you a couple of interesting things that happened while I'm taking the picture. So you'll be fascinated by this data. Let the comet go down a little bit and then we'll see it. You see the comet going down. You see on the right here, this is some galaxy. Okay, that's kind of nice. I don't know what this is. Is this Saturn? I have no idea. I need to check the Stellarium. If I captured 
this along with the stellarium but more interesting is i wanted you to take a look at this it will come up later in the time frame it comes like right here in the corner like you see the little streak of light as i continue my process this streak of light got pretty weird i'll show you what that is but anyway so this now the comet 3 atlas is happily moving this is uh, after we reduce the size of the picture okay and i removed the noise so now we have so now we have the data this is after removing the noise i wanted you to pay attention to this side you see this here this will come up later in the images i'm i'm assuming this is probably some kind of a galaxy i, I don't know but it looks very weird now the noise is not there the comet is more prominent and this galaxy looks good and also on the top i need to check what this is on the top it looks beautiful looks like saturn i don't know okay anyway uh, i'll check that later so here is the time lapse let me show you that so now here is when it starts right you see the time lapse right i wanted to stay out a little bit so that you get the full picture of what is going on i know it's hard to see on the cell phones but let me keep in at this level for now you will see the coma or the jets or the gas that's like moving like this you see that it's flapping you see that do you see the flapping of the coma it's it's like as if it is turbulent with wind you see that it's definitely spinning but almost like moving with the wind kind of thing right now here is what i did i zoomed in further and you guys tell me what you think as it gets closer as i see almost like there is no more to zoom kind of level i feel like not only it is spinning but also there is a definition of those jets to it right that's what i'm seeing i know i have seen these spinning jets before in all the previous videos but what i'm seeing now is there is a structure to it it's like doing like this there there could be something there that's not just doing the propulsion or the activity but there there is an extra material on this comet is making that spin i wasn't satisfied with this one uh, like this is great a uh, fantastic so i went and i did like one time sharpening as well i wanted to show you guys that image i know we can see that all day long all right so now we are seeing a one time sharpened image it looks slightly better right you see that it gives lot more definition to it right so this is a fabulous image this is one single image 60 seconds and it has this whatever this is and that thing is still there on the top i'm i'm surprised with this i'll show you what i mean let's focus on that I'm not even looking at the comet. I'm looking at that whatever that showed up. I think it shows up probably towards the end. You see that? Yeah. 
and it is next to the comet. It's fantastic. I don't know what it is, but anyway, let's focus on our comet. So now, what I was looking for is, can I get a little bit more details on what it is doing? So what do you guys think? Does it have a little bit of a structure, uh, with like a wings or a blades, that it is moving? That's what I see it. May not be there, maybe it is a elongated structure. We don't know, but as I get closer to it, I felt it has something there. This is way too zoomed in further. Even if you are on the cell phone, I don't want you to miss it. You tell me, like, you should see it. Sorry, I was moving it around. If you focus on that, you can't take your eyes off. I don't know why. I don't know why our eyes gets like sucked into it. There is something to it. It's a fascinating comment. Uh, please do click on the subscribe button if you haven't done so and uh, click on the notifications, give me a like and thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching.